yeah, we had just got done with a uh, emergency call, and I was heading back to the station. And, and while I was at a light, uh, another vehicle rear-ended my patrol car. Um, uh, instantly, I felt a lot of pain. Uh, later, found out I had a frontal lobe injury and a and a brain stem injury, and and I broke my eardrum. When they diagnosed that he had a traumatic brain injury, um, it was really difficult because um, we we found out that 97% of people with brain injuries get a divorce. It's really hard to relate. Um, he had no short-term memory. Um, he couldn't remember who we were, where what our relationship was. Couldn't remember where we got married, um, and it was it was really hard. We, his frontal lobe, with frontal lobe injuries, there's no emotion. And so he, he had no emotion, he had no affect, he had aphasia, he had the seizures, he had terrible headaches. We would have to go to the hospital a lot so that they would give him strong drugs to be able to take the headaches away. Um, it was really hard to refocus and figure out what our lives should look like and to relate. Um, I, I was on nine pills a day, saw four doctors a week. I didn't know, um, I said, well, do you love Roni? I, I don't know, I had no idea. I had no way to process any information for answers. I just, all I knew was I woke up in the morning and took medication so my brain would function. And before I went to bed, I took medication so that I could get some sleep. Uh, over time, I met with a bunch of guys. I was still in a men's group. And at one point I felt that God was uh, encouraging me or through the Holy Spirit told me that, to, that getting off medication and trusting him with my healing uh, was what I needed to do. Um, I got off the medication. Uh, I don't know how to put it in simple terms. God healed me in the sense that I didn't need medications to function anymore. Uh, it was a little scary. Uh, I think the biggest factor in healing uh, was that I could relate to Roni again and relate to other people. Uh, no longer were situations so overwhelming I would pass out or so confusing I would get lost. Um, I could actually function a little bit. I was able to understand what love was, who Roni was. Well, and I wouldn't say it happened overnight. I, I think the decision and the conversation that he had with God to take the medicine out of his um, daily life was overnight for him. It, it's not recommended. You shouldn't do that. Um, he didn't tell me for a year that he was off the medication. Um, he didn't tell anybody except for his men's group um, and he when he finally told me um, it was interesting because about the second six months of it people would say Matt seems fine he seems so much better and I I couldn't put my finger I'd say well yes this is who he was and this is how bad the injury was but now he seems like he's getting better but I had no answer for it and when I, when he did tell me and I confronted him and said, why didn't you tell me? He said, you have been my caretaker for 10 years and had to drive me everywhere and give me my medicine and take care of me. And he said, I, I wanted to be your companion again. And if I failed, I didn't think our marriage would make it. So it was a, he knew that he had to do that. And, and he's right. If, if I was there in the process, I would have parented him to heal, but this way I, I had to have my own temper tantrum of not knowing. But I do it. It changed. That was the biggest healing in my life is going from taking care of him and being able to be his wife and being able to love him and respect him in a way that was not possible for those ten years. That was gone. I didn't have that respect or that belief that he could provide in it. There are things of who he was in the beginning of our marriage that took years, maybe two years ago he might um, 
He used to always, when we first got married, say, what can I do for you this morning? And that was gone for his injury. And probably two years ago, I think I have it written in my journal, where he woke up one morning and said, hey, what can I do for you this morning? And I knew that was huge healing 18 years down the road, um, but he didn't know that that was a huge change. So I wouldn't, for me, I wouldn't say it was a miraculous, um, an instant, it, I would say it was a miraculous hearing, he, healing. I wouldn't say it was instantaneous. Um, feels like it's been over time. A lot of the struggle I had was that I could not read anymore. I could not, I didn't understand what people were saying. I couldn't talk. I couldn't express myself without stuttering or mumbling or nothing made sense. I, there was, I had no, any stimulation in my life was so difficult to handle. So the fact that I could actually uh, function in a way that uh, matched my, you know, what I wanted, my emotions, and what uh, understood what God wanted me to do, or wanted to be a better husband, or be a better father. It was um, amazing that I could do that again and have that uh, uh, relationship.